So to colour a bauble, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to do a blue bauble and I'm going to, I think, use yellow for highlights. So very quickly, I'm going to try and show you what I would do. I want to get two light white areas where the light's catching, which I'm going to do roughly here. So I'm circling gently and fading it in to keep a white area then I'm going to colour all this and that's my base colour okay now I'm going to go darker right and keep fading so I'm just tickling around the area of the white so it's a nice even fade from dark to light um, I'm sorry if the camera's shaking but I think what I'm resting on is touching the uh, tripod so I'm afraid it can't be helped okay so I'm going to use the darker blue now and I'm going to go darker in the in-between sections I'm trying to keep these round in shape the white parts I don't usually colour standing up but I am now so that I can film it I go even darker here okay the fading into the white area isn't going smoothly just go over it again Right, so I want to go a little bit darker on this edge, fading it down, and a bit darker here. Should have sharpened this blue, never mind. And darker around the edge, making sure I'm keeping that white area as a circle Oh, pressed a bit hard then. Whoops. Just tickling so it gets lighter as I reduce the circles. Okay, that's looking okay so far. If I tilt it, you might see better. So to give a bit of a golden glow, I'm just going to introduce a bit of yellow still want to keep white there but I'm just introducing a bit of subtle yellow to give it a little bit of a golden <laughs> that was one of my dogs having a big snore <laughs> okay if you have a smaller bauble and you don't want to get too fiddly then you can easily just have one white area of light so that's one white area of light just there now if you have a bauble that might have a um, design in it as in it could be done as two colours um, I have picked one out of my book here okay so here we've got a bauble which if you get something like this, if you want to do it all in one colour, that's fine. It'll still look good, just you've kept the black details. But you could do, for example, that blue, that red, that blue. Um, a little bit trickier, but same sort of technique. So I'm going to aim to have, say, a white light area there and another one sort of there. So if I was to do...
if I messed up this white area, I'd actually just get a blob of um, blue tack and just tack it on and it'll take off some of the pencil.